So the guys, welcome back to Shadowrun Dragonfall. Uh, we are in a building, an office building of sorts, uh, with our new crew, our temporary new crew, Jana, the foreign elf, and James. Um, we don't know the foreign elf's name, but he's he seems to be pretty pissed off at everyone and everything. Um, we tried to like bullshit our way past this guard last time, uh, which didn't go too well. We got the security code, but we don't really have any way of utilizing that so it looks like we do just have the one method um of frying this guy and that is to fuck with this panel basically um so let's do it let's do that shit it's a shame to fry that guy after we made friends with him but it's got to be done so so is it time to zap some guards do it fucking do it oh shit he's actually dead I thought we were going to knock him out, Jana. What the fuck? He's dead. He's actually dead. Someone might notice. Let's face it, no one's going to notice. Theta key card. Which sort of heavily implies uh, that there's at least four of the key cards. <laughs> Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Theta? I think. Uh, Unity Grid Hub. Oh no, Utility Grid Hub. Okay. I mean, we're legit supposed to be here, right? I mean, that's the thing. Wordlessly, Jana pops an access panel at the base of the terminal and begins snipping wires. A few minutes later, she replaces the panel's cover and stands. Alright, that should do it. I've bypassed the security lock on the elevator. We're good to head upstairs. Uh, that was quick. I know my way around the electrical systems. My father used to own rental properties all over Munich and I helped him maintain them. She smiles shyly. I've been rewiring buildings since I was a little girl. Uh, asshole. What was asshole's voice? Oh, God. <laughs> Touching. I don't know what this has to do with getting me to my meeting, but please, by all means, keep waltzing down memory fucking lane. We'll wait. Um. <laughs> Are you ever not a dick? <laughs> if you make me miss my meeting, you'll see exactly how much of a dick I can be. You're supposed to be our leader, so pull your head out your ass and lead us, preferably in an upstairs direction so we can get done with this before security catches us. Oh man, what if these guys are actors and they're just like trained to like mess with me um, and I'm supposed to like stand up to the dick, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm not supposed to put up with this bullshit is what I'm saying. Uh, there was nothing else in there, I guess we've popped, oh no, orange thing over here, residences. I thought maybe we'd pop the thing for outside but I guess not. We must have the key card that allows us to go through here. Swoop. Teleporting. Teleporting up to the top floor, I guess. There we go. Alright, I'm going to need you to get me to this floor's access panel. That'll be in room 303 on this floor. The door combination is 14291. She glances up at you. Make sure I write that down. 14291. Got it. 14291. 14291. Let me write it down just in case. I know it will probably put it in the journal, but if it doesn't, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. 14291. Got it. Right. Um... Okay, once I'm there, I can put the penthouse door in maintenance mode. That'll set its key code combination to 11111, so we shouldn't have any trouble getting in to plant the cameras. We've been making halfway decent time. Not good, but not terrible. But I can't afford any more delays. Cracks his knuckles. I hope that no one else gets in our way, for their own sake. Yeah, yeah, tough guy. You're in a hurry. Let's hurry up. The ugly smile falls away from his face. What replaces it is uglier. If I weren't under instructions to follow your lead, this would be a very different conversation. Mate, if we weren't under instructions to lead you, you'd be dead. We're a fucking shadow runner. Don't fuck with us. Yeah, well, you are, so shut up and deal with it. She shakes her head in disgust. God, I wish we didn't need you to finish this job. His lips curl curls into a sneer. In fact, we don't need him. We don't need you at all, James. Where's my gun? Sadly for all of us, you do. Oh, and by the way, we're going to have words when this run is over, mouse. You ain't doing shit to her after this run's over, mate. We'll fucking... Oh, you wait. We'll set Dietrich on you. We'll get Iger to eat your face. A stream of caustic syllables pours out of the elf's mouth. His back is stooped under the weight of his pack, but his hands have clenched into fists. James rolls his eyes and points a bony finger at the elf. <sighs> Look, he's trying to speak. I want to get this over with, Slick. I want to get away from these people and go home. Apartment 303 code. Oh, it did give us it. 
<laughs> wow, he even put the one, 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 one there in case I'm that much of an idiot that I forget. Oh, we've got to go to that guy's suite as well. Can't remember which suite it was, but we'll keep an eye out for it. Um, where the fuck are we? That's the big question. This place is pretty big. Apartment three or two. Apartment three or one. Well, that's our goal. But let's have a bit of a look around. Can anyone remember what suite that guy said he'd be in? Apartment 303. Does it say on our mission items? I bet it doesn't. Suites. Suits door code 53786. But what fucking room was he in? 53786. We could just try them all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, use the keypad. Five, three, seven, eight, six. Wow! <laughs> Cheesed it! <laughs> oh man. Let's take his cred stick. Oh shit, that wasn't the cred stick. Oh, the fire escape! Oh, we could use this as an exit. Wait. Maybe we could have come in through here after all, then. Could we get up there? I don't know if we could. Oh, well. Maybe we didn't have to fry the guard. Whatevs. It's done now. Uh, we don't know any other door codes, but before I open that, I just want to see what's up there. Just in case. You know. Could be some loot lying around. The penthouse door code. Oh, that's where we're going in a sec after we've done the... We're going to rewrite the penthouse door code. Is that the actual thing? Yeah, we're going to 303, we rewrite the code to the penthouse, and then we go in the penthouse. What's this one over here? This one doesn't have a thing. The test that goes in the console's display reads information security personnel only. In place of a keypad, the console sports a smooth geopass panel with a data port in its center. It would seem the building manager doesn't want layman tampering with this machine. Wow, so if you play a Decker, you can just jack straight in and fuck that shit up. Oh, that would have been pretty cool. Alright, what's the door code? 14291. One, four, two, nine, one. Welcome, homeowner. Uh-oh. Oh, it lagged a bit then. I thought it was spawning in some, some enemies like that time when we opened that door and there was just like a fucking monster. Uh, there's this dodgy paint in there that definitely has some secret shit going on. What the fuck is this? We have um, some weird posters. That's... <laughs> I like that. That's quite good. Music. Uh, and vote goat or something like that. We've got like uh, a bear with a with an AK. Another bear. An advert for H2O, whatever that is. Huh. Interesting. It's quite a scruffy place. Whoever lives here is a bit of a scruff. Anything good in here? Nope. Interesting bookshelf. How would that be helpful in any situation to have to have that there? I'm not sure. Okay, right. Well, the painting appears to be the only thing. I wonder if that's a painting of fish, because it doesn't look like it's solid, does it? Um, moving the painting aside, you find a large maintenance access panel. Jenna steps forward, a slight frown on her face. Okay, I guess this is me. She pulls the multi-tool from her belt and uses it to loosen the bolts that hold the panel in place. Pulling up a schematic on her PDA, she examines the terminal's wiring. Hurry up, woman. The clock's ticking. Don't rush me. This is complicated. Popping the lid on her toolbox, she grabs a pair of wire clippers, a soldering gun, and a roll of electrical tape. With a look of grim determination on her face, she begins to snip into a massive harness of cables that runs through the unit. Alright, she taps the elf on the knee. I'm going to need that, uh thing now. He nods and reaches his back to unsling his pack. Placing it on the floor, he opens it and pulls out a large blue canister. It takes all of his strength to wrestle it up from the ground and into the space in the access panel that Janna has cleared. There you go, you dumb ox. Do something useful for a change. The elf says not, not uh, the, 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 the. the elf says nothing. Unburdened by the heavy pack, he stands up straight, and for the first time, you appreciate how much larger he is than the corporate mage. He stares down at James, his hands bunched into fists. 
Stay cool, man. We're almost done. If the elf understands you, he shows no sign of it. He continues to stare James down, and the mage continues to ignore him. God, I want them to fuck James up. <laughs> Payload in place, Jenna goes back to work. It only takes a few minutes for her to screw, wire, and solder the canister into the harness. She inspects her work, nods, and turns to face you. She stands and brushes the hair out of her eyes. All right, job's done. We just need to do a bit of clean-up, and we can get out of here. Nice job, Jenna. Yeah, thanks. It wasn't all that difficult, just a matter of following our employer's instructions. Hey, that's great, but time's a ticking, so let's keep moving. He glances at the jumble of wire and circuits you through the open access panel. To hell with the clean-up. We'll be gone before anyone notices anything anyway. Uh, what was it that you put in there? <laughs> she shrugs. Peace me. For all I know, it could be full of pixie dust. They said that I had to wire it into the wall at this junction, so I did. It's a bomb. It's a fucking bomb, Janna. Employers don't tell us much, do they? The mage sneers. You haven't been doing this long, have you? The lodge doesn't tell you things you don't need to know, and you don't ask. You will be to do what they tell you, take the money and keep your fucking mouth shut about it afterward. It's all very simple. The lodge. The mage's eyes widened incredulously. You, you don't even know who you're working for, do you? You're leading this team, you don't have a clue. Janna cuts in, her eyes wide. Both of you, shut up, someone's coming. I tried to click, <laughs> but I couldn't move. It's okay, we're maintenance. This guy's not going to know shit, surely. A tall, deeply tanned man turns around the corner at a jog and comes bustling into the room. You recognise him as the father that you spoke with at the Augmentech kiosk. He stops short when he sees your team and the smile falls from his face. You, that guy from the cyberware kiosk, what the hell is going on here? He advances on you, full of bluster and bravado. This is my apartment, I own it! You can't just waltz in here and start pulling the walls apart without my consent. We're maintenance. Look at the uniforms. Yes, I see that, but that doesn't give you the right to force your way into my home and start tearing up my walls. At the very least, you should have given me advance notice. James shoots you an irritated glance. This is a waste of time and I'm already running late. If you don't take care of this idiot, I will. The elf barks something out at James. The sound is uncharacteristically ugly, all harsh consonants and sibilant hisses. Uh, keep your mouth shut, James, you fucking penis. <laughs> he bristles. Talk this out. The hell with that. We have a job to do and he's in the way. Deal with him and do it fast so we can get back on track. The homeowner looks shocked, but he recovers quickly. He takes a step towards James, his hands balled into fists. All right, buddy, you have asked for it. I want to know your employee number, and I want to know it now. I'm a member of the Homeowners Association for this level. You know what that means? I have a lot of pull with building management. He thrusts an outstretched finger at James. Your days wearing that uniform are numbered. I promise you that. Uh, Calm down, sir. There must be a problem at dispatch. You should have received a work order last week. I didn't receive a thing from dispatch, or from anyone else for that matter. My wife and I are entertaining guests here in an hour and a half, and our living room is ruined. It's one fucking painting, man. I can put it back on the wall. <laughs> What's the problem? I need to know that you're going to fix this, and that you'll clean this place back up, and that you'll put a new coat of wax on the floors. I need... The hell with it. I don't have time for this. His hands twist into claws, and he raises them high, and an instant later they're reared in a natural purple glow. <sighs> Fuck's sake. James, we don't need to kill him. You're a tit. The glow intensifies into a scintillating torrent of light that the energy lances and stabs out of James's hooked fingers as if it were alive. The man in the doorway recoils an alarm and his palm slaps down on a plastic disc that has been clipped to his belt. Too late, you recognise the object. A panic button. Of course. James, you penis. The air forms with the cacophonous wail of screaming alarms. James jerks back and his concentration broken. From down the hall you can di distinctly hear the sound of heavy footsteps approaching at a run. Meanwhile, the homeowner backpedals, trying to put a wall between himself and James. He's moving too slowly. Much too slowly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, what do we do? I mean, we've got to get from here to the fucking penthouse yet. So... Getting busted at this juncture is not going to help. We obviously can't let the guy get away now. <sighs> because now he's fucking being attacked by James. He'll just report us anyway. Okay, we can't let him get away now. D 
Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. An incomprehensible screech cuts off the major sentence. In your peripheral vision, you catch a flurry of motion. Your elvis companion is moving, making a beeline towards James. Jano is hanging off of him, trying to slow him down, but he barely seems to notice. Stop, damn it! We need him alive to complete the run! Do we, though? Do we really? With a kick, he sends her tumbling to the ground, then turns back towards James. We could just fuck James up. Oh, man. We could fuck James up. Okay. Ugh. Why do we need him? I don't understand why we actually need James in the first place. Is there something I'm missing? Have James hide the cameras in the penthouse. Ugh. Uh, yeah, we need him. The elf comes up short, staring at you. He sweeps his vision from you to Janet to James. Then he exhales heavily and spits out a jumble of broken German. Killers, innocent of, will not stand for. I am not slave. Oh, lodgemen, bastards, I kill her. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Elf dude, why? I don't want to kill you, elf dude. I don't want to kill you. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, elf dude. I'm so sorry. In fact, I could shot at you. Would that be more or less painful? I don't know. I feel like the crits are probably better. Soz, mate. Uh, Jana. Wow, she's got a fucking taser. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Well, James, what are you fucking useful for? What have you got? Power bolt. Oh, fireball, acid stream. Oh, bit extreme. Uh, let's go for a power bolt. Oh, tell me you can kill him with this next one. Oh, thank god. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know there was dudes there. Oh, shit. Okay, we've got full cover over here. So if I head over, over, uh, we can take a shot at this guy. Uh, James is pretty fucked now because he took two goddamn hits. So I'm going to move him round here and heal. It's his own stupid fucking fault. He had to fucking fight with that guy, didn't he? Uh, we don't want the taser. She's going to have to get the actual gun out. Sorry, Janna, but we need you to actually be able to shoot these guys. Get behind cover. I don't think she can shoot from there, but she can overwatch. Okay, looks like they're not actually coming in. Um, it's heavy cover intervening, so I can't throw a grenade. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's have Janet heal James. And then James can run down here and cast. No, can't cast. God damn it. Got any items? He's got a trauma kit. Nerve bolt? No. Apparently there's no line of sight from there. I've got line of sight. Let me do my cover break on him. Do you have line of sight now? No, line of sight blocked. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm going to move her down this side. And there's not really any way I can move James where he'll be in cover, so he would just be like stood out in the open, so he's gonna have to just stay there. Fucking knew there was gonna be a nade. Motherfucker. I hate nades so much. Oh, he's doing one as well. What a douche. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna heal myself. And then. 
Um, switch to the shotty. Give that guy a shotty blast. And then James is going to cast some magic. Can you get them both? No, but you could get that guy at the back. Okay. Uh, and then... This guy's injured, but not injured enough. I'm going to run her back and take an aimed shot. This fireball's doing absolutely fuck all. Oh my god, James is getting shafted. I'm going to kill this prick. And then Joanna's going to have to come over and heal James. Who is a massive, massive douchebag. Uh, and then he can acid stream this guy. And also give him a power bolt. Man, he's got a lot of armor. Nice. Nice. He's definitely dead. Take another shot. Nice. Oh, jeez. There's going to be more guards out there now that we're going to have to fight the whole fucking way, aren't we? Jeez. Well, James, douchebag, go out and take a look. How's it looking out there? Go a bit further. What do you see? There's a guy. Okay. Just one guy? Nope. Two guys. Uh, we're going to have to just run out into the open, unfortunately. There's not much we can do. I need to reload my gun as well. So let's run here. Reload. Uh, she... I'm going to run her out slightly. I'll take an aimed shot at that guy. It was worth a try. Uh, James is going to fireball them both, though. And that's it. That's all he can do. He's so lucky that they both missed him. Jeez. Let's get him out of there. Uh, let's get an acid on. Let's go for that one. Uh, how come I can only move like so many squares? So I can't get anywhere good. Well, I suppose I can just stand out in the open then. Whatever. Uh, let's take an aimed on this one. Oh, really? Miss with 83 fucking percent. Um, okay, I can move a little bit closer. That's good. She's got to bleed out this turn, surely. Although I might take a shot with Thingy just to be on the safe side. There we go. Okay, one dealt with. James, uh, just nerve bolt this guy. And again. Okay. God damn it. There you go. Second aim shot. Nice. Good crits. There's an alarm panel there. Can we disable that? I don't think we can. Oh, man. This has really fucked us over. I guess we've just got to run for the uh, fight our way through to the penthouse. James is going to die. I can't really do much about that. Has he got any? He hasn't got any health kits of his own. No. Nope. Well, that's what he gets for setting the alarm off. There's some sort of symbol on the floor there that could be relevant. If I can catch him up, I can heal him. So there is that. And I suppose the dwarf could do the same, if need be. Let me reload her gun. In fact, if I skip James's turn... Oh, what are all those symbols?
What are they? Are they ley lines? Let me skip his turn. Good job as well. He would have run straight into all that shit. Oh, fuck off with your grenade. God damn it. Right, I'm going to run straight around this side. Um, don't know what I can really do with this guy. I suppose just a fireball. But he can't fucking reach anything. Man, mages are shit in this game. Because they can't fucking move and the, the range on their spells is just crap. He's got no line of sight or anything. I'm going to run him around this side in that case. So that he's out of the way. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> My God, they're just going to shoot the fuck out of Janna. Um, right, I'm going to move over here. And then I'm going to have to heal her. Because she's completely fucked. Uh, James still can't do anything. He needs line of sight as well, which is pretty annoying. I'm going to end the, end the turn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, for the love of God. These guys. They're the worst. See how you guys like a fucking grenade. Ugh, these guys. I think we might be fucked. We might have to try this again. I'm not convinced we're going to get through this alive. And all because of fucking James. Right, this guy's out in the open. So we'll deal with that. Uh, our turn for a fireball. Let's do it there. It gets both of those guys. Nice. And he missed James, amazingly. Oh god, you are so lucky, James. She's gonna die in one turn and I can't do anything about it. Uh... Oh, can we trauma kit her? Is that a thing? Let me run over and trauma kit her. Oh, them fireballs are really annoying. Oh my god, she's actually back up on her feet. Uh, we need to go get this guy. Let's do an aimed shot. If you heal yourself, okay, ten. That's not too bad. I've got a six on me that could do with healing. Let's try and spread out a bit so he can't. He's still going to fireball us. I know he is. Reload my gun, uh, and then head up here. Chana's going to run up there. What does that thing actually do? Four and stun, but it's got to be closer. Okay. Okay, keep firing at him. Can we hit him with one of those? Oh, that was big damage. He didn't like that. Let's take an aimed. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. We did it. Ready to break into the penthouse. Right. Well, geez, that was quite a lengthy... Oh, no. 
I was going to say it's lengthy combat, we'll save it there, but we're going to have to carry on because the conversation started and you can't save mid-conversation. Uh, the mage wipes spatters the blood from his cheek with the back of his hand. He attacked me. Her elf the fucker tried to kill me. You've been assaulting him ever since we arrived here. What did you think was going to happen? His face flushes red. If you'd been a better group leader, you wouldn't have let that happen. You'd have... For the love of God, shut up. Just stop talking. We're both sick to death of you. You need me to... Yeah, to finish the run, so go do it. Without another word, the mage turns and stalks off in the direction of the penthouse. Oh, there we go. We can save it there. Right, so we'll save it there. End at the penthouse next week. Find out what's going on inside the penthouse. Finish this fucking cursed run. And then probably tell Dewar to go fuck himself. Because, uh, my god, we are not doing another run with amateurs like this. Um, cool. Let's save over that one. That one. Overwrite the save. Yes, please. Okay. And then maybe, if we're lucky, once James has hidden the cameras and we get outside, we can just, like, shoot him. <laughs> That's what I'm really hoping is going to be the accumulation of this mission. Because uh, whoever's sent them us on this mission are just a bunch of fucking amateurs and we're not working for them anymore. Uh, but that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.